Uh, from El Salvador. I was, yeah, I was born there 30 years ago, <laughs> 31 years ago, yeah. Biggest difference, the cultural difference that you find in every corner here, uh, I think you don't find in El Salvador. Although you will see like very uh, culturally rich country, but it's very Salvadoran. It's not as diverse as it is here. Actually, this is my first time. It's that uh, it was like a, a very cool, hipsterish type of city. Very down to earth people, very nice people. So yeah, it's a no brainer for me to come here. But my sister's coming, so try to get the whole experience with her too. So, so with El Salvador, it's um, post-war, there was a lot of uh, so social turbulence because of the, all the people that that were left uh, without parents because they lost it during the war. And that ended up uh, leading to a lot of the gang problems that we have today, which is kids that had no care and they were, uh, they were returned from the States into El Salvador without having nothing, uh, nobody to rely on. The state didn't take care of them. So that uh, led up to a very hard social situation back there that we're still suffering like 30 years after the war um, ended, right? It, but that, that doesn't define El Salvador to its totality. I think it's uh, a country with great people, like we're the smallest uh, country in Central America, but I believe that we have the biggest hearts. And you can see that uh, in people when you go and visit there. They're very, uh, they're very welcoming. And I think that's the part that El Salvador should be known for. Yeah, if you go to El Salvador, expect uh, laughter, good times, beach, <laughs> a lot of heat, but a lot of heat. And um, yeah, just be prepared to have a good time. Man. When, I was, when I first went to Argentina, I was 18, 19 years old. And I was like just a, like a teenager that nobody, no, that knew nobody, right? I was in a new place with new people I didn't know. And at the time, I got drafted for the university soccer team. I used to play for University of Buenos Aires, but I ended up studying in UADE, it's a, a, Universidad Argentina de la Empresa. Uh, so Argentina is a very passionate, very passionate country. So playing football with them was definitely a, a challenge, not because of the skills that they had, but because how they lived football. That got me, it still got me hooked, how passionate they were for the game. It was on, a, on another level. Like whenever they score a goal, it doesn't matter if it's a five on five, they will shout at your face. They could be happy about it. Uh, and I wasn't used to that at all. We were in the team, there were uh, 18 Argentinians, two Chileans, uh, a Colombian and me, a Salvadoran. So for us, the, the and most of those Argentinian kids were not from the city. So they were from uh, the south of Argentina, well, all the way up north from Argentina. So I think uh, connecting through that sport and having like a common goal, even though we were very different people, having that common goal of like winning a game or winning a, a championship, uh, that brought us together and made us a friend, friends that were unlikely to be friends on another context. I guess uh, sports gave us that, uh, football gave us that, and I'm thankful for that. Like, uh, it helped me through like uh, the first five years of school, which were pretty hard when you're by yourself in a big, in a big city. Yeah. Family had lived in Argentina for nine years, so coming back to El Salvador was uh, I think I, I, I want I think I wanted to do from a uh, well back ago and getting uh, locked up with my family I think it helped me connect with them the the way I hadn't done in nine years it really was hard for us for, for Salvadorans that have a a, very, a culture of sharing not to not to have that and get that taken away uh, from one day to another when the lockdown came so, but personally, I think it was a great time to rediscover myself and see what I wanted to do after that because it really puts into perspective like the, the expectations you had about yourself and, and what you wanted in life when all you had was your family and take care of them and take care of yourself. So that really changed like how I wanted to live my life looking forward. There's a lot of... Um, there's a lot of things that everybody goes through that went through by themselves during the pandemic. 
my advice is get help if you need it, but also try to get, uh, find that thing that keeps you connected to yourself and those around you.